The 3D histopathology reconstruction can be used for computing a virtual endoscopy of the specimen. To this end, the 3D model of the specimen pathologies is fitted into a virtual esophagus model. The esophagus model is visualized starting from its oral end in gastral direction until the lesion is approached. It is located at the transition from the cardia epithelium in red to the squamous epithelium in beige. Zooming into the lesion, one can identify two major islands. The same two islands can also be found in the original footage from the real endoscopy, which is shown in the paper to this video. Mapping the histopathological diagnosis to the virtual endoscopic view provides an augmented virtual endoscopy. The red color indicates that the island that is closer to the camera corresponds to high-grade dysplasia indicating a higher degree of dysplasia than in the other more distal island for which the orange color signals low-grade dysplasia. In part 2 of the video, the specimen is extracted from the virtual esophagus. A semi-transparent 3D pathology model and the underlying histological sections are overlaid to give a hybrid view of the specimen. This can be used for several purposes, for example within an interdisciplinary conference to give a spatial impression of the resection specimen. The hybrid model can be rotated and inspected from different sides in order to demonstrate, for instance, whether and how the lesion invades deeper layers, which is not the case here. Zooming into a certain region of interest, for example a transition zone from the yellow zone of intestinal metaplasia to the orange zone of low-grade dysplasia, the 3D pathology model enables an in-depth comparison of the specimen pathology and the underlying histology.